Yeah. All right. Anyway, let's put on some music. Need to ungrump. Think like I just don't feel like playing. <clears throat> Whoops. I don't know. I'm not feeling like playing something with that I don't know how to play right now that has like people in chat who like know how to play and want to backseat and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just not in the mood for that right now, but I'm going to be Exanima is one of the playthroughs, like one of the games I'm going to be playing a lot of. I, I'm just not in the mood for it right now, I guess. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, all right. Did I destroy anything just now while clicking off monitor and back on? Let's do, you know, let me just make sure everything's okay. And then I'm going to back up the save. And then we're going to do like Twitch integration. Because that's just like purely fun, you know? Don't have to worry about accidentally destroying any of my... 100 hours of work, pretty much. All right. All right, everything looks good. I added more Mimikium to there, so I have a bunch up here now. All right. Actually, you know what I might do? We're gonna go, we're gonna do a little bit more progress on this. Okay, they're all here. Let me go uh, to Westworld and we're gonna collect all the orbs in Westworld. And then we're gonna do some Twitch integration. But I'm still streaming every day this week though. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. All right. I think in this world, I only collected the orb in the magical temple. So we get to get all 10 more orbs or nine more. I wish Exanima actually gave you a tutorial for the keybinds. Yeah, I'm okay with, I just didn't feel like, I don't know. I'm sure you understand probably how it is. The stream just was off to a bad start. Like something pissed me off in the beginning of it and uh, I just didn't bounce back from that. So we were playing a little bit of Rain World and then some other stuff happened. There was like kind of an argument a little bit and I, you know, things were building. And then I want to play Xanima, but I just... Just have to switch, you know. Whatever. It's definitely the type of game that you have to be in the mood to play, and I guess I'm just not in the mood for it right now. Alright, so we got Pyramid. We got Sand Cave. Yeah. I mean, it's a complex game that's not easy to play. So if you're not in the mood for it, it's just kind of like... Mm, and I was... I was trying, but I, I kind of wasn't in the mood from the start, you know? So it's just like, I'm just going to keep trying. And then after a little bit of time, I was just like, never mind, let's just switch. Peaceful sandwich eating forge. <laughs> nice. It actually it was a, a veggie dog on a slice of white bread. Because I don't have any hot dog buns. Or such. It's just like a little snack. A little snack. How you doing, Cloud? Here, I want to go fishing real quick. A little fishing. Let's see what I get. Hello, Paul. 
And this soundtrack just immediately puts me in a better mood. We got a scooter. Nice. All right. Um, I guess we'll dig all the way down right here. Let me just spray black holes in this general direction. How you doing, Paul? Still looking for a few spells, too. Circle of Buoyancy being number one on the hit list. Hello. Which, of course, we can't find. Circle of Buoyancy. Oh! We can't find Circle of Buoyancy on a wand unless it's an always cast. I might have to put together a... Uh, Like a good wand farm wand. I probably have all the spells I need for it. Let me pull up a wand build, so if I see some of these... We're not even using this wand anyway, right there. If I see any of these spells that I need for this, this wand build, I can just grab them. Yeah. I play, I've played a bunch of Twitch integrated games, but uh, Dead Cells I'm not into. I tried a little bit. I've played a bunch of Dead Cells, mostly off camera. Uh, Reventure was a really fun Twitch integration game. I just like a variety of different games. I don't like playing roguelites and stuff. Like, I'm not like. I'm not somebody who wants to stick to one genre. I like games that have secrets and exploration. So, you know, games that don't have that element, I'm less likely to play. But Reventure, I might actually play Reventure again on stream, because it's been long enough that I've forgotten a lot of it, you know? And then that's always, yeah, that was like one, one of my first streams, or whatever, one of my first games that I streamed. Uh... Oops. All right. You see this. And it was tons of fun. It's like a choose your own adventure type of game with a hundred over a hundred different endings. Uh, I need this. Where did I see this? Hang on, I have it on my phone actually. Yeah, I just have it on here. Uh, hang on a sec. Be wow wow wow. Got a bunch of food pictures, and then, all right. So, this is a big ass wand build. Holy crap! <laughs> so that, can you see that? Never mind. Look at all that. That does this. Can you see it all? It creates a gigantic spread of just platforms and wands. Instant wand farm. What is going on? I'm showing a wand build, uh, cause I need to collect some of these spells for this wand build. Damn, that's a lot. <laughs> I think I might have all of it, actually. All right. But. Yeah, it's a gigantic wand. I think Kobe, Kobe made it, probably. It uses the requirement spells, or one requirement spell. I'm not going to look for those right now. Let's just get focus on one thing at a time. I think that's all I can do right now. Just need to focus. Let's go down to the wizard's den. We'll, we'll just get the rest of the orbs so they're out of the way. 
and then uh, I mean I could make a wand farm that's not super crazy amazing like that and it will still be just fine uh, maybe let's drain this just in case wouldn't that be heartbreaking just to like get polyed even though I have poly immunity Crazy wand build. And that's why from there, there have been a lot of, uh, from that general, oh, I thought that was a utility chest. From that type of wand build, like the grid, like a big grid, there have been a lot of artistic wand builds from there that just, ah, time to drink pus. A lot of artistic wand builds that just look really cool, but don't really do much. That's just like another kind of like sect of the wand building community or whatever. Uh, who make wand builds that look amazing just for the artistic quality of it. Even immune, he fears the poly. Yeah, because unfortunately you can still get polyed with poly immunity. <laughs> Because there's like a overflow bug, and you ha and if you happen to be touching Polly at the exact frame that this overflow happens, then you get polyed, obviously. Uh, no, it's rare, but it can happen. So, in a long ass run like this, definitely do not want that to happen. So, you just don't want to be. Hey, look at that. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> that thing got... Wow, vacuum sucked real fast, damn. <laughs> Goodbye, evil eye. Oh well, I have one at the base, probably still. <laughs> What's happening? We're just... journeying through space and time. Uh, collecting the orbs in Westworld. Oh, hey, what's up? Uh, I guess we should kill you. What's up, buddy? Oh, nice. Hey, could up. Oh, I can get another one of these wand cores because my other one got accidentally destroyed by pus when I was getting ready to record that video. <laughs> I had a wand core there and it, whoops. I whoopsed it. Um, I think I need another add trigger, yeah. Yeah, and then we could grab. I don't know if I need the wand refresh. Uh, it's not gonna work on here really. I have one on every other wand that I can. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna take that. But this. We'll keep that one. Are the orbs important? Not anymore, not for this run. They're gonna power up the final boss. And I guess we're not gonna be killing the final boss for like another potentially 10,000 hours <laughs> in this run. Maybe, if we can potentially keep the run from corrupting for 10,000 hours. But, each of these orbs... Unlocks knowledge. Alright, we got that one. Do, 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 do. Wizard's Den, done. Alright. Now we go all the way back up. Bloodthirsty, bloodlusty. Hang on. 
Reventure is that funny Unity platformer with like 60 endings. I think it's like 100 endings, but yeah, probably. Maybe it's only 60. What the hell was that? Oh, it was gold. It was funny. Good stuff. But then when COVID happened, the beginning of COVID, they they made a COVID-19 ending. <laughs> I mean, I guess that, that was on brand for that game. It's like one of the endings of the world. Everyone died from COVID-19 in that game. <laughs> and I think that caused like a bunch of people to get pissed off and review bomb it, maybe. I, I kind of remember that reventure it's a it's a fun game and it's one of the few games where like spoilers like it's depending on your path through it it's like an ending hunt type of game and you could uh you could do things like depending on how you progress you would get a different ending and it's one of the the only game i know of that eventually you can die from picking up too many items <laughs> like you get first you pick up like you need you need certain items to get certain endings to reach to solve certain puzzles to you get like a grappling hook you get like a sword this that different abilities to progress through the through the world um but if you pick up too many then like all of a sudden you can't you first you can't jump as high you're like oh I can't, I can't reach that ledge anymore. I, I have too many items. And then pick up another one and you can't jump at all. And then if you pick up one more after that, then you just get crushed from just not being able to carry them. And you drop them on yourself. <laughs> it's so good. Man, framey. Yeah, so performance drops in Parallel World right now for this this run. It's pretty bad. I gotta be really careful moving around in Parallels. This is only East or West 1. We're only in one Parallel World over, and it's already like this, so... I want to find Circle of Buoyancy sometime soon, but I'm gonna have to, like, back up the save every time we get to a new Parallel. I've been at least six parallel worlds over in each direction. And the save file, the world, the world folder is probably alone, almost a gig. So that's why this is happening. Because the game is uh, keeping track of so many changes I've made around the world, even though it unloads the chunks when you leave them uh it still has to keep track of a lot of things and my world folder let's see uh just the world folder is a gig oh my god just the world folder yeah that's why there's just so much that it's keeping track of because this run has been going for four months almost five months now probably uh, and I've over a hundred hours, I'm sure, at this point. So, that would be why. I just can't, like, rapid fire or teleport really quickly. Because if you move really fast while your game is lagging like that, then you could very easily crash it. Just go all the way up. <clears throat> yeah. Epilogue two was five months ago. Um four? Four and a half? Time flies.
Oh my god, somebody got Levi. Nice. Leviathan. All right, we got the mountain orb. Schmack. How did you get that? Is it, did the help command give that to you? Oh my god. Really? It just gives you the command if you do that? Well, that's gone now. <laughs> I didn't realize that it did that. That's... It's supposed to be a game in order to get that. Like, I'm supposed to give... Oh, hey. Somebody got a compliment. That's the new one. You're a really cool person. <laughs> All right. Sorry, but now that that's that knowledge is out there, I didn't even know that that you could do that. Oh well. Uh, no, not app cancel. How do I get out of the settings? Oh, psh. we're gonna have to come up with a different way. <laughs> All that time. Western Digital just announced a new hard drive technology named after Fury Forged. The press representative of WD explains now Fury Forged can save his Noita Alchemist run on one single hard drive. Nice. Yeah, right. That's dumb. I wish it didn't do that. I wonder if there's a way for me to disable the help command so you can't see that. Why does the game give that away? <laughs> That's so stupid. It's if you didn't know, it's supposed to be like I make up a a password like that, and then I'm supposed to give you guys hints throughout the stream in order to try to figure it out. You know, it's gone now, Murphy. It's gone now. Nobody else can want want. Because we were talking about The Sims. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, it was supposed to be this big game. It didn't do that before. And I guess there was a, an update. And they're like, hey, let's be helpful. Let's be let's help everyone. Like, tell them the, the unique code. Whatever. By the way, here's the streamer's uh, stream key as well. <laughs> Dumb. That's so... Whatever. Meh. Today's been a rare stream. I'm in a much better mood now. Like, immediately, as soon as I started playing Noita, just immediately got in a better mood. But, <laughs> that's still, that's so stupid. We gotta, I gotta write them a letter. I'm writing them a letter. It's gonna be a long, nasty letter. Like, hey, give me my fun back. <laughs> Eat my pants. All right. Um, let me check here real fast for something. I think we are already checked in here for gunpowder. There's a there's a unique kind of gunpowder that I can only get in one of the first like the mines, the collapse mines, or here. And it's the only type of gunpowder I'm still missing. Are you alive? You are not alive. And then I crash that mood. <laughs> it's okay. You did. It's fine. It's not your fault. It's not. Nice. <laughs> I 
I gotta figure out something else though. But yeah, now we have the complimentary fish in there. So if anyone gets that, I gotta stay on my toes. I wasn't ready right then when when I don't even know who got it. That's the the thing. I wish it said in the game. I wish it said who. Like if there's a lot of people uh, playing it. Oh, it did say. It says in the beginning, but afterwards it doesn't say. So if I'm not looking when I hear the, you know, that's the normal sound effect. But I have custom sound effects for certain fish. So if I hear that sound, then I can turn real fast, you know, because I can't watch because I don't see it on this monitor. New Kofi donation. Hey, thank you. Appreciate whoever whoever that was. Thank you very much. Yeah. Speaking of Kofi, co coffee. Some whiskey. Nah. I think the leaderboard might say it. Mm -mm. If it's a big one. But also, I still have to like go like that to read that. Thanks for shooting me. Anyway, I didn't see any of it right now. <laughs> Alright. Let's -a go. Get this next orb. I may have already... Wait, did I get this one? Uh, Magical Temple. Yeah, just in case. Let me check. I think I got this one. Yeah. I just needed to put this music on, I think. <laughs> the soundtrack is just so upbeat that it immediately... Puts me in a good mood. I don't know about you guys. You check the eye room. I think I probably recently did. Let me check it again just in case. Lord Zebra. Yeah, Lord Zebra is from Astroneer. If you've ever played that game, I, I was playing it with a group of IRL friends. Ooh. We got another one of those, huh? I might not keep this, but... And now we got Creepy Liquid. Wow. Uh, yeah, I was playing Astroneer with some friends, and then we, like, created a cult where we worshipped the zebra marble. <laughs> and we built it, a. Uh, we built our base around it. And then we lost it. Somebody, somebody dropped it, and it kind of rolled away, but then we found it again up. Somebody, one of us built, like, a big highway through the sky and mountains, and we found it up there. It, like, bounced some, it, you know, we were all playing at the same time, and nobody picked it up and moved it there, but somehow it ended up up there. Anyway. It's good. Well, it's good for a little while, with friends, and then we all kind of lost interest at the same time, but... It's definitely f was a really cool experience, working your way down to the core of a planet. That was fun. Alright. Frame rate is fine now. Kind of recovered from earlier. Sorta. It's just still a tiny bit. Yeah. I'm trying to get through some games, but then I keep buying new ones. <laughs> well, hopefully that wasn't anything good. 
Because here's the thing. All right. Several years ago now, probably like five years ago, if I'm being honest, maybe like five years ago, one of my moderators and uh, a mod author from the Terraria community whose mod I really liked, Sacred Tools, which then got changed to... I forgot the name of them after they changed it from Sacred Tools to something else. Uh, one of their their brother, their brother or their best friend, uh, made is the one of the developers who made Prodigal, Color Grave, and Prodigal's like a Game Boy Advance style Zelda like, with uh, kind of like life sim elements where you you uh increase your relationship status with characters kind of like a dating thing maybe i don't know anyway but it's got like relationship stuff relate relationship building but and i kept saying like yeah i'll play it i'll play it i never played it and i kept coming close to playing it and then something else would happen proton nice um but then, now, schmack, <laughs> it's in my backlog. And then I have current, and these are all the games that are now in my, my new backlog. Instead of like, this started as just a few games that I was currently playing, and now it's, how many? <laughs> 38 games. <laughs> 38 games that I've started some, I'm currently playing. <laughs> anyway, um... Kiyopioki, they gave me a key recently. Kiyopioki is like a precision platformer that I need to play. Kingsgrave, my friend bought it for me. I need to play it soon. Inscription I am playing. I'm recording footage of uh, on the down low. Dread Delusion I bought and I wanted the stream when that came out. Uh, or like when it 1.0 happened. And then below, I just bought because I've been wanting to play this game forever. Alwa's Legacy, I was playing, and I need to finish and record footage of so I can make a video about the Alwa's games because they're pretty cool. But then the game, okay, anyway. Veritas just came out two days ago, and I bought it because I never played Prodigal. And Veritas is like the new game in the series or whatever. So it's a it's a Zelda-like game, but with like kind of a roguelite mechanic in a way. Like you go down into the dungeon, then come back up. You uh, work on equipment, find all this different equipment. You can upgrade it maybe, and then relationships and stuff too. Anyway, and there's secrets in it and all kinds of stuff. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to play that game now. But, as you can see, there are a lot of games like this. Yellow Taxi Goes Vroom is amazing, so much fun. But, yeah. Mouth Hole, I need to finish that. We, we got a little bit into it. Northern Journey, I just bought and I want to play that. Moon Ring, I want to play. Lorelei and the Laser Eyes, I was really, really excited about. But then I saw that it was just like tons of math puzzles and math is not my strong point so I'm kind of uh, not excited to play this anymore <laughs> especially not on stream unless we just do it solve it together and I just allow all backseating and just like alright whatever let's just get through the game together maybe I'll do that more creepy liquid damn anyway yeah, maybe I'll just like open this up to all of chat and we just like enjoy solving it together. I think that would be good for that game because I like puzzles, but if it's math type puzzles, like not only am I not really interested, but I don't want to try to solve that on stream. Those are not a good example of the type of puzzle that I would be good at solving on stream. I'd be sitting there like, uh, like what I was when I streamed it. And I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm just going to explore for now. 
That was my excuse, because I don't feel like trying to solve any of this, so... I just went and explored instead. Anyway. <laughs> He's gonna play it right after Noita. Yeah, I know, right? Let's do this. I'm not playing Noita all day again. I mean, we played a little bit of Rain World and a little bit of Exanima. I've been really wanting to play both of them much more. But today just was ill-fated. All right, we got that orb. Nice. Thanks for exploding on my face. Um, wow. We need to get hell. When we go to hell, get that orb. We gotta go to hell. <laughs> yeah, we'll play that right after I finish this run in, in a year. But the thing is, is like, I want to play other stuff. A, I don't want to get burnt out of Noita or this run. I don't want the excitement that I feel every time I boot, boot this game up to play this run to work on this. I get really excited. I don't want that to go away by just like playing it every time I stream. Because every time I, every time I stream, I'm like, I want to play other stuff, too. But then I don't. And I get mad. <laughs> anyway. So in order for Fury to be happy, Fury must play other things. Because I need to make videos of other games, and I need to... need to keep doing that. My main project in Noita is this run. However, my main project in life is not doing just Noita. I played a, a little bit of ba Barony. I really like uh, Ultima Underworld, so... Barony's like Ultima Underworld, the the roguelite, pretty much. I would maybe play more Barony in Koa. How many players can play at one time? Where am I? We gotta go this way ish. I think it's four. That's cool. I'm always looking for co-op games that I would actually like, and that fits into that category, probably. Because a lot of co-op games are just not interesting to me. Like, even Deep Rock Galactic, I'm not, like, super into the gameplay of it. I'm just there to hang out with friends, for the most part. I actually have more fun between missions, just drinking beer and dancing, you know? <laughs> and then as soon as we go on a mission, I'm like, I just let other people do it. <laughs> like, I'm not into a lot of co-op games, because they're just, for some reason, they're either really grindy, and I'm not into the grind. Like, grinding for what? There's no, I don't know. There's nothing that keeps me interested. It's just like, eh, I don't feel like doing this. Um, or, like, co-op games are, like, really simple, like, lethal Lethal, I'll probably end up playing more of because there was a big update and I want to play with friends, you know? Like, I'll hang out with friends and play anything, but so far, Lethal Company, I have not, I haven't enjoyed the game really at all. Like, one time, briefly, there was like the, the girl ghost or something. I think it was like hunting Merp. Like, Merp was, like, hiding on the banister inside the mansion, like, up there. And I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, the ghost is hunting me, or something. I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then I think I died. That was fun. 
<laughs> anyway. But. He kept running in circles. Yeah. But yeah, the gameplay itself is just like, meh. Like, I don't, I don't understand it. <laughs> it's just... Did I already trigger this one? I did. Okay, that's where I got... Right here, that's where I got... Our broom wand. Right here. I like it, it's silly. It's just like... I want to chat. People in, in most of the sessions that I've been in, nobody really chats, you know? I don't know. It's just like everyone doing their own thing, running in real quick and grabbing stuff before I really... I don't know. I just haven't gotten into the, the game. And I just want to like hang out and chat and mess around. That's why I like... You have, somewhat. Somewhat. <laughs> Oh, nice. But, uh... You know, a content warning is way more fun. Although... We've had good sessions of content warning. But then, like, I'm always... Whenever we've played it... I've been kind of tired and, like, low energy. And I'll be, like, trying to think of things to say to make it funny for everyone, but then I can't because I'm tired. I'm like, eh, whatever. But but still, content warning has been a blast. And I think that long walk or the big walk game, that's going to be probably tons of fun to play with a big group. I don't know how many players that uh, allows, but it looks like probably a lot. Last Train out of Wormtown, I haven't heard of it. The only co-op games, gameplay-wise, that I've really enjoyed... Uh... Hang on. I'm just not really a co-op person, I should say that. Is the music really loud for you guys? Or, like, is it good now? Because it was kind of a little loud for me, so that means for you guys it was probably even louder. Ah, my neck. Like, I've played 12, 12 or 13,000 hours of Terraria, but I've only ever played Terraria co-op, like, twice, maybe? Two co-op runs, ever? Playthroughs? And, uh... You know, I used to host my world. I, I built... On PS3, I built an entire world before I played much of, uh... PC Terraria, or switched back to it. I was playing on PS3 for a long time. I built an entire world on there, and that's when I got started with content creation. That's why people were like, you're so popular uh, building this world on the PS3, you should start a YouTube channel and just build and stuff. And that's kind of why I did. Um, but I would just host my world, and I had all the items, and everything built all across the world, and then people would come in and destroy it, have fun destroying all the buildings that I spent thousands of hours building. <laughs> Just dumping lava all over the place. I never back, I backed it up, I never saved, of course, but anyway. Okay, one more orb. Schmeck. But as far as like co-op games go, I like I liked Don't Starve Together, but I'm pretty burnt out on that game now. Uh, Remnant One and Two, I've loved. Okay. Yeah, like I would play Terraria again with you and like Dad. You know, I'd hang out and I would play some, some, uh, do a playthrough of Terraria. 
Um, you know, and I would take my time and just build a lot. I just don't want the my Terraria fan base, who there's still like a bunch of people who are like rabid and like, when are you coming back to Terraria? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I don't want to. But I would I would do a playthrough on stream or just, you know, some of it on stream, some of it off, whatever, and just hang out and, and work on a Terraria world. And I would play through it real slowly. I'm not gonna, I was never that person to rush ahead. I just progress whenever anyone else does and wants to. Um, but yeah, I would love to, I would do that. I actually kind of think about playing Terraria again and building and it would be nice, but I just don't want anyone on YouTube to like get their hopes up thinking like I'm going to return and make videos of Terraria because I'm not. I do not want to. Um, that that time has passed. But chained together, I think Zaishio, Alias, Super Hobbit and I are, so, are going to be playing that sometime this week. I have it, but you know, I don't know if it's a game that I'm going to enjoy really. I'm sure it'll be fun and stupid. Like Project Zomboid is a game that I really want to play, but I only really want to play it in co-op. I like, I don't know, a lot of games that are co-op just don't interest me because they're either super simple or just a grind. And I'm, I never get hooked. I'm just like, yeah. Remnant from the from the ashes and Remnant Two, tons of fun. They're really really good. Not, I mean they're they've got their jank, of course, a little bit of jank. But oh hey, update. I haven't played this in a while. I have only really played it with one of my friends. Remnant One, three of us played. It only uh, you can only play with with two other people. Um. But it, these games have been the most fun because I they're kind of souls like, but with guns. Good stuff. They're not as hard as souls games, and it's especially Remnant 2. Remnant 2 is really good. The world is like randomized, sort of like where you start and everything. There's a lot of really interesting features. It's kind of it mixes together influences from like Bloodborne from Dark, all the Souls games, etc. There's a lot of Bloodborne influence in this one, though. But it's not like a Souls game. It's it's like a third-person shooter mixed with Souls inspiration, sort of. And like big over-the-top bosses and just crap tons of lore. There's so much to read in this game that we don't read. Like, that's another thing, though. Playing co-op, I don't want to read anything. I don't want, I don't care about the story, really. Unless it's like really good, then okay, maybe. The story in this game is just like, Paxel Tech. You're a Paxel Tech. It's like, I think Paxel Tech is the word for human or something. Maybe. <laughs> I don't even know. But there's just so much crazy, weird lore and words happening and like, ah, oh, whatever. Like they make up their, their own words, like Paxel Tech and stuff. It's a fun game, that's all I care about. Fun and the gameplay is really good. Very smooth, very smooth. Like shockingly smooth frame rate in Remnant 2. Shocking. Wormtown is a co-op game. Where one person plays as a sandworm and everyone else plays as cowboys trying to get a train running. That sounds cool. I'll look into it. Wait. Oh, I gotta go down here. Last time I did co-op, someone saw... Yeah, Terraria. Can you imagine Terraria liquid management for Noita? I know. That, like, working on this run it makes me feel like I'm playing Terraria again, in a way. I recently had somebody from the PS3 uh, who I hung out with back in the day. He's a really good builder. It was like kind of like my posse back then was myself. My name on the PS3 was Fury Elevator. <laughs> That's where Fury came from because I 
when I was making out, uh, making out, making up my uh, PS3 handle or whatever. I'm like, I don't know what to call myself. And I was just like, how about Fury Elevator? Because I elevate people's fury. <laughs> so dumb. But anyway, that's the name I had. And then I hung out with this guy, XX Terminator XX. And Lemon Zest. And uh, Shadow Spawn. Etc. Shadow Spawn. I think it was Shadow Spawn who built the, like, massive, like, world sized spaceship. And uh, Lemon Zest helped with that a little bit, I think. And then I helped with. We all, like, would help each other a bit. I helped a little bit with Terminator's world here and there. Some of the grunt work. Because there were a lot of de a lot of things you would make with... Uh, I think Terminator had his entire hell built out and custom placed all of the uh, the ash down there, but made upside down crosses and other designs all throughout it with Hellstone. So we just had to like basically place Hellstone down there one block at a time throughout the entirety of hell. That was fun. <laughs> anyway, yeah. And like he recently contacted me again because he started playing on PC. And he's like, you should play again. I'm like, nah, I'm not really interested in it. He's like, well, you should try to move your your old worlds from console to PC using T-Edit or whatever. And then I found out that I can't because when the PS4 first came out, they let the... What's up, goodnight base? Hello. Hello, goodbye. I will see you again. When the PS4 first came out, uh, the Terraria devs allowed you to transfer your PS3 save to PS4. They made like some utility that would... Uh, allow you to do that and then from there from ps4 it's very easy to because it uses the same file format i think as uh, pc so you could just move it over to pc and then like all those builds you that you know i would i made back on console i could very easily just move them over to pc but now i can't because i guess they don't offer that anymore that utility or whatever so my worlds are forever stuck on PS3, which I ha I still have my PS3 in, in my closet, I think. One of these days, I'll start it up and see what everything looks like again. But yeah, I spent thousands of hours just building one world on the PS3 version. And uh, just every inch of that world surface sky and and underground is just completely filled with my own stuff and then i started doing that on pc but then i quit terraria and never want to play it again <laughs> no anyway i only know you from your noita valentine's day theme video love that nice that's how you met me me? Alright. So, we have now 31 orbs. And... Yeah. Yeah, TV Monkey, like Souls Worldscape, but shooter style. Yeah, and there's... There's dodge rolling and stuff, and equ different equipment. Mostly, it's more minimal, the equipment. There's armor. There's like three pieces of armor you can equip. And then there's uh, rings and necklaces, al amulets. Most of the gear you find will be rings. There's just oh, so many. And then you get different perks, too. I'm trying to think if I want to stay in this world. Nah. Let's go back. Alright. 
Yeah, the reason why I switched away from Rain World today and then Exanima was partly because I, by the time I switched to Exanima, I was already a little bit grumpy from various things happening today. Um, and then I didn't feel like getting backseated in Exanima. And it was kind of like, it was there. And I'm just like, I just want to like, bump, fuck around in this game and just whatever. But I, you know, anyway. But also Rain World, I didn't feel like playing because I, I couldn't chat like this. Like Noita, I've played so much Noita that I, I don't have to pay attention completely to what I'm doing in the game. And then, especially while traveling like this. You know, I could just like sit back and just chat and read chat and everything. And I felt like doing that and I couldn't really do that in Rain World. Because you have to, you know, I'm hunting lizards. So I have to pay attention and not die, you know. Anyway, so that's pretty much why I stopped playing Rain World earlier. I want to, I want to play more. It's just some days, some streams, you know, you got to do something else. Or the same thing, I mean. <laughs> it's like I want to play other games, but sometimes I feel like just streaming something where I don't have to pay, like, complete attention to the game, you know? The lab is going well. We made good progress yesterday. Yesterday was a really good day for progress. I've only been... Oh, we, we haven't done anything today. Just got the orbs, pretty much. Just got all the orbs in Westworld. And now we don't have to worry about orbs anymore. They're done. They're out of the way. What I have to do is I have to build, like, a hazardous materials containment area for any of the explosive materials and void liquid. I don't want to put void liquid above everything else, above all my other materials, just in case it breaks. I don't want to, like, destroy part of the base and blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, this we have to be careful with. Let me make a... take that off, please. Let me... actually, let's do this. So over here I have the water stone. I'm gonna grab that too. Let's move them down below. They might disappear, but I'm not super concerned about that. I did have a flask break twice. We we lost our evergreen seed flask. The rest of these are good. I'm just going to try to keep everything on this side. There's like a spot over here that keeps unloading and then a flask keeps breaking or it broke twice. Anyway, let me just uh drop down here. Let me see. And then this guy. This is one problem we do have. Uh, this guy keeps disappearing because when I went to get him and I used the the wisp, the Homebringer wisp orbiting me, I accidentally bumped into a arrow trap and I think the arrow trap, the invisible entity is in here. It teleported in here. It's on the wall someplace, but you, you know, the arrow trap, the physics part of it didn't teleport. Only the, like the entity that makes it exist or whatever so i think it's pushing yeah see now he's here it's so weird fred yeah if i'm if i come from this direction sometimes not all the time he's gone and then i go over here and then back and he reappears strange uh Let me... So I have my... I have a coup down here. That thing's still here. Maybe I'll leave that just on its own right there. And let's uh, maybe put a little... We got the poop stone right there. We got the poop pouch. <laughs> oh, man. I love this game. 
I think I want to put all of the materials across here. But... Like, right here, we'll put, like, two little... Two little spots. One for that, one for the water stone. Alright. Yeah, so I have void liquid, we have explosive, like, wet sodium. And then... I've got these different types of gunpowder. These two that they'll explode if that breaks, if they dump out at all. The rest of this is fairly safe. Like, you know, I've got some solids. I don't want that breaking because then I have to clean up like a bunch of metal over here. It's not a powder, you know, it's just going to make like a pillar of crap, basically. Uh, but the rest of this stuff, if that breaks, they'll just evaporate really quickly. Like the Dethium gate opener, lively concoction. <clears throat> lively concoction. Um, so the rest of this, pretty safe. Guiding powder, not as safe. But whatever. I'm just, I'm, a, I'm at peace with the fact that the whole place is going to be covered in blood. I don't care. It's fine. I'm a blood mage. Yeah, Australium. Australium is uh, made. There's a couple of Team Fortress 2 references in this game. Australium is made by pouring gate opener on lava. Uh, you make gate opener with urine... Pus and Flamuxium. This stuff. That makes you confused. And then you can make pheromone with Yo. Three months of secret finding for Repo Blob Disc. Hey, thanks, Philbert. Welcome back. Y E S. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, by the way, the the emotes have changed. So now they're... The, I changed the emote prefix. It's not Fury Foe anymore. Or is it? What did I change it to? Or, or. Yeah, they're F, F Forge now. I think that's a little bit better. F Forge. Fuck Forge. <laughs> Whatever. I didn't think about that, but anyway. You can only change it every three months, I think, or something like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, where am I going to build this? Let me just, we can make this real quick. It's not going to be, I just don't want to put it anywhere near these liquids or any of my other materials. It needs to be in its own safe, out of the way spot. So... Just Merper. I was thinking about just doing Forge, but I couldn't. It's already taken. And then Fury is... Everyone always... Last night, I was hanging out in Dad Wrestler's stream. And uh, he raided somebody new. Uh, or not somebody new, but somebody new to us, basically. And a new friend. And she, even she... She's like, Hey, Furry. Thanks for the follow, Furry. I'm like, damn it. Can't escape it. So many people just read Fury as furry. <laughs> it's just like, that's the way it is. And it's not like I care, really. You know, I don't care. I just don't want to be misrepresented. That's all. That's the only way I care. It's just like, I'm not a furry. I don't care about, you know, like, I, I'm fine with anyone who's a furry. One of my, like... Meme Lord is like the furry lord. <laughs> He's like the lord of all furries, but you know, it's fine. I don't care about that. Uh, but you know, it's just a misrepresentation. That's all. I guess. Whatever. Anyway. Um, where do I want to put hazardous things? And then we always, we joke about it. It's like a meme now where I just joke about like, I'm going to make a channel or make a new channel called Furry Forged. And it's going to be just like, 
No, nah, not a parallel world. It needs to be here. This is not for, like, the creepy liquid and stuff. It's just for little explosive things that I don't want to have near. They're going to, you know, explode. Not not too much. It's not like it's going to blow up the base or anything. <laughs> um, Hang on. I'm not, like, very focused right now. So I haven't really been... I've been talking about this, but I haven't really thought about it at all, really, yet. Yeah, I'm gonna make a Furry Forge channel, and it's just gonna be, like, fake uh, guides. Just, like, guides for fake games. Or I'm gonna make up a game, or, like, that wouldn't really work as much, but... <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a pet channel. All right. Molten glass. There's like three more types. Wait, molten glass. Molten steel. Another molten steel. And then maybe one more molten steel. And then I think that's all the molten materials that I can put here. We have molten wax also, but it just hardens if I put it over here next to them. You can't pour it out at all. It needs to stay in the flask. But I do have powder wax, so in case I ever do lose the molten wax, I could just make more of it and then duplicate it with Mimikium. All right, let me think. So this goes, it's got to be on this side over here, because this side, we have materials that go all the way to the end, pretty much. Uh, so, then over here I have the Mimikium thing. Uh, down here, I might put all of those, like, soil materials, like the plant seed and fungal powder, fungal soil and all that crap. I might just put all of that down here. Whoops. I think I could fix that. No, I can't. Never mind. Blood everywhere. Over here. We have we have room over here, actually. Yeah, we'll put it over here. Alright, this is a good spot, too, because... I wish I could permanently get rid of that, but it's fine. I guess. Uh, we're gonna put platforms over here. Because there's no materials right above this. Yeah. Yeah. Worst wand builds. <laughs> but then I was thinking, if I make something negative, I don't want to, you know, whatever. I I'm not going to spend my time doing that anyway, I should say. Like, it's just, I was memeing. I'm not going to make another channel just for dumb, like, fake guides. <laughs> like, what the hell? Why would I do that? I don't have time for that. I don't even have time to make all the videos I want to make. God. Anyway, uh, that's not the right wand. Okay. The curse is real. It's like loose and lose, furry, furry fury. I think also, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's fine. I mean, it doesn't bother me. I just like kind of making fun of it, sort of. All right. Uh, I guess we could just... No, I don't want it all the way. Over there. Um. Please work out. Okay. fine. I wish it didn't make this other one right there, but I guess it's, it is what it is. And then I'm just going to make two platforms, I think. All right. I should have tried to make them completely even, but that's good enough. I could always just... 
Whoops. Now I gotta do this one a little bit. I shouldn't have moved it all. I was in the perfect spot. Why'd I move? Beautiful. All right. I'll keep these here, I guess. Because if I aim upwards, I don't want to accidentally... Yeah, that's fine. All right. So put bags down here. So gunpowder. Although I should probably put them closer to this side. In a way. Because I want I don't want them to unload or anything like that. By being too far away from Colmy, that's the problem. Well, I guess I could test it. Uh let's test it with something else. Let me grab the uh, guiding powder. That's easy to make. Whoops. Okay. <sighs> Alright, let's put this all the way over here. Hey, no one is the one. How you doing? All right, let's shut down. I should probably back up the save anyway. My best friend also reads it as furry and kept asking me why I follow furries. Really? Wow. I don't understand the, um, is it, is it, it's basically just like jumping on a bandwagon, right? Like a lot of people do that, you know, human nature, I guess, like a lot of people jump on bandwagons and it's like a, a bandwagon of like hating on, on people, on hating on furries, just because it's like the cool thing to do, I guess, sometimes. Not really, it's not cool at all, actually, but, you know, is that why? Um, I don't know. I don't get it, <laughs> but whatever. Oh, well, I'm not saying your friend was. I'm just saying, like, in general, when people people hate on me and call me, like, a furry, like, trying to insult me and shit. Yeah. Anyway, gotta embrace the furry. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna probably get like a, I gotta like, I have a green screen suit, like a full body green screen suit that I haven't worn on stream yet. Could be the invisible man. <laughs> Keith Ballard's Let's Play of... Uh... Of this game, he's playing Noita. Is that what you mean? He has a lot. I don't really watch Let's Plays anymore. I haven't watched a Let's Play in a long time. Now if I watch anything, it's I hang out on streams, on people's streams, or like usually friends, or I uh, watch shows or movies. You know, I don't really have a lot of time to watch stuff anymore because I spend a huge amount of time streaming and working on making videos and music again. So I just like whenever I watch anything, for the most part, I could I do a little bit of work on the base while hanging out in a friend's stream or I work on lately like leveling uh, a character in Elden Ring or something, blah, 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 going around collecting some items I need for PvP build in Elden Ring because I'm going to be Dad Wrestler and I and, and a group of us and Pyro um, and anyone else who wants to we're going to be we're starting a PvP fight club just hanging out and just having fun uh, once a week once every other week probably uh, 
And yeah, I just do stuff like that while hanging out on streams. Or if I watch, usually, like, sometimes we watch stuff on Discord. And a lot of the time, I get my, like, stationary bike, and I work out while I'm watching something. That's what I do. I need to multitask to save time. <laughs> it's like, I, you know, to get... Because I sit here streaming or working on videos all day or whatever. I like to try to stay in decent shape. So I... I work out in the morning a little bit, and then at night I I do push-ups, sit-ups, and, and cr push-ups, crunches, leg lifts, and, and squats, hey, and stuff like that. don't you think it's a good time to save your game? It's what we just did, buddy. It's what we just did, Cryptek. Um, now we're just waiting to for the game to start up again. Maybe. If it wants to. There it goes. <laughs> just had to open Steam. Um, and, uh, yeah, if I, I'll put a movie on and I'll just like ride the bike for two hours while watching a movie or something. It's kind of what I do. Anyway. Let's see if this, fl uh, bag disappeared or unloaded or, uh, broke or something. Down warped, up warped. It's about a gig. I think it is exactly a gig, or the world, the world folder, just the world folder is a gig. But that's most of the save right there is the world folder in this run. <laughs> we are working on my alchemy run a little bit. It's it's basically what I work on all the time when I play Noita on stream. Mostly, it's a run I've had going for the last four and a half months or so. Uh, we're, we're alchemists. I am the dirty alchemist. The stink, stinkamist. With my bag of, bag of, uh, stuff. Anyway, we're collecting every single material in order to do alchemy, conduct experiments. All right, that's still there. Okay. Well, I did just back up, so hopefully the rest of this stuff does. I can move it a little bit over here. If it up warps, I just... You know, alchemic precursor. I can make alchemic precursor. It's not that bad. Maybe we'll move this stuff closer. Don't want to tempt fate. Basically. And then up here. Maybe we should put the bags up top and the flasks underneath. Because if bag breaks and... Well, I guess it's... Yeah. Doesn't matter. We got Void Liquid right here, and then the real dangerous one, the Volatile Wet Sodium Flask. <laughs> wet Sodium Potion. Nice. May the power of the hippo. Sorry, I, f I didn't. I ignored the sound of it. Hey, he was drunk. Okay, there he goes. Yes. Please, hippo. Lord Hippo, protect the integrity of my world here. All right. Because, you know, the reason why I'm doing this is because this is what I'm really into. Uh, and I've played this game for a very, 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 very long time. And have done pretty much, you know, everything i've played this game in every kind of way i used to speed run it competitively and then i used to do i've done an everything run i've gone through new game plus 28 getting the max amount of orbs each time fought the final boss with 64 orbs over the course of four and a half hours while drunk <laughs> i was talking about that a little bit yesterday like the end of yesterday's stream i'm like maybe i could just keep streaming and open up a beer and do a drunk stream or something but Probably not. 
I was drinking some Cabernet, some red wine while fighting Colmy for four and a half hours. Like, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't that bad, but I was pretty a little tipsy. <laughs> anyway, just a little bit, not too bad. Um, all right. Now. So we did that. That's cool. I'm glad to have that stuff out of my hands right now. We got all this stuff up here. They seem to be pretty stable. Except the top. Look at the top of that flask. Why is that doing that? Why is that like that? It's weird. All right, let's uh, let me actually go to a parallel. Let's farm the end of everything real quick. And try to do this fast. We're going to use the other wand. Just in case. Okay. Uh, just in case I get any spells on. Wait. Yeah. From the end of everything that I want. So I can carry them over here. And also... Because I'm not using my black hole wand. Uh, just in case I use, like I teleport into a wall, I can escape from it slowly with this wand, in a way. Yeah, I don't remember what uh, where the VOD is, but hang on, let me make sure I'm not going to open my back end stuff. <laughs> YouTube studio. I don't know why. It's not like you're going to see anything, I think. I just don't want to dox anything. Can you please? It, somehow it just does not want to load. View your channel. It's not even loading. Nothing. What is happening? Why... Why will my channel not load? There we go. All right. Shh. I've noticed some weird inconsistencies, even though this channel is owned by me. Uh, it's like YouTube things between my main channel and this channel are very different. And I feel like like the main channel has like, you know, however many subscribers I have on the main channel and the views and all that crap. And then this channel is smaller. This channel doesn't get treated as well by things like in the back end. It takes longer. I got to jump through more hoops to get a video out. All this stuff. I'm just like, that's really weird. So I think that YouTube actually, uh, yeah, like treats channels differently depending on their, their size and stuff like that too. <laughs> Anyway, um, what was I looking for? <laughs> Hades, look. Five years ago. If you ever wondered, like, has Fury ever played Hades? I have. A very, very long time. I have a long Hades series. With. I was actually one of the few people who were doing this before Hades blew up. I was, I was like one of the few channels doing a Hades series and then uh, before 1.0, back when it was only on uh, Epic Game Store. And the developers even talked to me because there was like very few of us who were making Hades content. That was, those were the days. Anyway, schmack. Um, yeah, the real noise to everything run. 2021 three years ago damn man so this this was the run that i went this was my previous longest run ever where we went to the noita far lands this is the run that i did that in when i went 512 parallel worlds over and found like the the far lands basically in noita uh did all the secrets in New Game, went through every New Game Plus loop, got the max orbs in each loop, and then more and more. We did a lot in this run. Uh, lots and lots. 
New game plus 28. Yeah, this one. Defeating Noita's super boss. What's the difference between a service animal and an emotional support pet? Thank well, you. A Pets. service animal has to go through long Animals. Weeks. All right. Gimme Addy. Gimme Addy. Yeah, I'm, I'm all drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That, look, actually. look how low its health is. There's still probably on, like a hundred billion yeah, HP there. This way. I don't oh, and then I ended on. up healing it by accident. I'm like, no! Another hour. Sure you don't want it. Okay, anyway. Let's grab at We had 36 orbs, of course. Actually, 36 orbs, but it's 64 because we were in new game plus 28. Or 65? Anyway, and then into the final world, we went three post games deep because we crashed and duplicated the Sampo. So I was able to go into the first post peaceful world after new game plus 28 and then another one after that and then another one after that. So we did multiple 36 orb runs. And then the Far Lands. One hour of going into... Wait. Oh no, part two, part three. Wow. So two and a half hours of me traveling through parallel worlds. They were much more stable back then. Now if you try to go through parallel worlds without shutting the game down constantly, it just duplicates everything and destroys your save, pretty much. And then you have the end of everything. Aww. It was only one, whoops. This? No, oh, that was when I was in Canada. We'll still 36 mm. orb run. First post game, 36. Mm. There we go. Yeah, so 100 hours, that's it. All of that was just 100 hours, wow. 100 hours, and I didn't even have much HP. Oh no, I did, I did, right? Max HP 5. Never mind. Because <laughs> I polyed myself to kill myself or something. Anyway. Schmack. Memory lane. Aw. Uh, okay. I'm gonna cry. No. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I don't have any crystals here, right? Nope. Okay. Do, do, do. Uh, one of the songs that I played yesterday, like the, I had a, the greatest video game user, I mean, greatest video game soundtracks ever uh, playlist, and I got uh, DMCA'd. So that VOD, yesterday's VOD is completely muted, including all of the footage of this run. <laughs> So, that's nice. Swordfish. Yeah. But I'm, I'm talking to them about it. Just cut out that part. How loud is the music right now? I don't know. I don't even know what track it was. I was kind of like just over it. Is the music uh, too loud or is it good? I kind of tried adjusting. Like yesterday's VOD, the music was so loud for you guys. And I didn't know because for me, it's really quiet. Um... It's barely audible. Okay, so I, I guess now it's good. Because yesterday it was like very loud on stream, especially later in the stream when I started doing the Twitch integration stuff. Um, and we were listening to Risk of Rain 2 soundtrack. Compared to my voice, it was like so loud. Because for me, it's quiet. So I didn't know, I couldn't tell. And then today, because I listened to that VOD, 
I dropped my, in OBS, I dropped all of it, the game and the music, down by six decibels. So now it's probably pretty good as far as, uh, like, what I hear from coming from my mixer and what you guys hear on stream. It's probably pretty, pretty much the same, I hope. I gotta just keep adjusting it until I get it, that sweet spot, and then I'll know. Anyway. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to click back into the game. Alright. Now the game is pretty loud, actually. Could always... All right, anyway. Might boost the music a little bit more in YouTube. <clears throat> okay. And yeah, these are Sennheiser 599s, HD 599. I forgot to put this down in the base, but whatever. I've been using Sennheiser headphones pretty much forever. Um, actually, it, having a little platform here is pretty nice. How long has this current alchemy run been going? Probably a hundred hours now. Because I've spent a lot of time doing that. We spent a huge amount of time in this run just gathering spells. There was a lot of time spent just trying to find some of these spells that I needed. All right, there we go. Perfect. No material, of course. That's dumb. It's a pretty decent one, though. You're dumb. <laughs> uh, come on, lava. I can't believe that with the fishing command or like the help command actually gives you the code like that. Or the command for fishing. It shouldn't do that. Anyway, if you're just tuning in, you didn't see that earlier or whatever. And you know about my, what I've been doing with the fishing game. Where... Where the fuck? Come on. <laughs> Why is there so much... Anyway... So I guess if you t if you type exclamation point help, fancy yourself a fish, redeem fish in the cast the line. Yeah, it, t it somebody did that, and it told us all my secret password to fish for free. And it used it was like a game where I would give hints to people, and then by the end of the stream, I would just like pretty much tell everyone what it was. But now we can't do that <laughs> because all you got to do is do exclamation point help and it just tells you that and defeats the purpose. Anyway. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. All right. Oops. Um, did we somehow not cast it? What? There it is. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to, we'll look in a, right after this one. I'll see if I can turn that off. I think maybe I can actually. Yeah. I think there is a setting for that. There are a lot of settings in that game, in the settings menu. 
My main earphone ones are Bang and Olufsen. I don't know if I've heard of them or that that brand. I would pay for fishing, but I'm saving to be the master. Nice. For me to eventually finally play. This is more than one end of everything. <laughs> for me to eventually play Animal Well again. Kidding. I'm gonna. I want to. There's so much that I want to do, man. Alright. Why? Give me what I want. <laughs> Acceleration. Glowing fungal spore. We already have glowing spungle. Spungle. Mr. Bungle. Glowing Mr. Bungle spore. Glowing Mike Patton. All right. I'm so excited for the Animal Well Collector's Edition. I'm saving my next playthrough until it's released. I think I might, but I, I do want to do play some of the um, the. Uh, Alphas, or like the earlier versions of the game. I'm gonna do another one. Just do it. Alright. I lost my cloud. Oh no. Oh no. Where? Oh, there it is. No, wait, wait. I don't want it to get filled with acid. Come on, green lion. Do your thing. Alright. Whoops. Ow. Alright. Oh yeah, wait. It says it's customizable. It's also a one-way toggle, no way to turn off. Well, let me look at this. Uh, I don't think anything gets doxxed if I do this. Let me show you guys my, my stream key. <laughs> let me not do that. Uh, actually, is that even, is that in here? I hope not. Anyway. Here, you can see my custom catches. We got Jar of Bean. We got Jam Frog. We got Noita Gold. We got Slug Cat. We got Levi, Creature of the Deep. We got the 42nd Orb of True Knowledge, which several people have gotten. And then... The Laughing Lizard. <laughs> The ultimate of the ultimates. We got a pacifist chest. Mega sad. Lil Peeper. Has anyone ever gotten a Lil Peeper? We got Noita Blue. We got Creepy Liquid. Fox Egg. We got Animal Well Snail. We got the Bzz Fish from uh, that roguelite that I really liked. It's like Outer Wilds-ish. It's not, it's not Outer Wilds, but it's like Beyond the Long Night. That game came out and it just immediately died and the developer of this game had to quit game dev because of that, unfortunately. I think he had to move in with his parents again because it did not do well. He spent years developing this game. This is Yogg's Cast published, which is weird. Like they published it and they didn't promote it very well. Um. I think. I tried. I made a couple videos of it. And I want to make a video essay about it, but it's like a it's like a knowledge based uh roguelite that has a bunch of secrets and in order to get the true ending of the game, you need to go through this big quest line sort of finding different secrets that lead you further and further into it. And then at the end you get this really amazing like it's really cool, a really cool process, and it is inspired by uh, by Outer Wilds in that way. Yeah, good stuff. Like the the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, maybe not the greatest, 
but it's still fun. It's a kind of a twin stick shooterish bullet hell roguelite. Charming. It has talking cows in it. And some really good stuff. And it like really did not do well. I mean, I guess it's fine, but it it was not as nearly as popular as I thought it was going to be. And then yeah. He he's a really cool guy, really nice guy and he just like I I got to quit game dev for for the time being. Yep. For every that's unfortunately like a pretty common story, I guess, in indie game dev. For every successful game, there's like hundreds of unsuccessful ones. But this game's pretty good. I liked it. I really did. Alexa, if you know who Alexa is, he really liked it as well. Even though Alexa and I haven't gotten along very well in the past. <laughs> it's been a couple things we butted heads over. Um, yeah. Schmack. Buzzfish. Sword of a Fish is from... That's the... Uh, the Chrysogrim inspired sword. From... Uh, why the hell? L Lunacid. The Blessed Wind Sword from Lunacid. The rarest and most powerful legendary fish ever. <laughs> Lord Zebra. Bale. Nobody's gotten Bale yet. I went through all this trouble to record this. Curse you, Bale! How loud is that for you guys? Is that really loud? <laughs> or is that good? I think it might be. I think we're we're on the same page now as far as audio is. Is it loud? Curse you, Bale! Oh, I didn't put a description. Um, curse you. <laughs> then we got the complimentary fish, which I just added earlier today. When somebody gets that, I have to pay them a compliment. Because you're fishing for compliments. <laughs> Yes, so witty. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, help command. None. You can make your own help command, but you can't change the help com. You can't remove the help command. That's dumb. I'm gonna write a letter. <laughs> anyway. Special catch volume. Yeah, I'm gonna... Okay. Boop, boop. There's so much you can do with this. Like, web hooks. Alright. You can do all this, like... Different web hooks and everything. There's there's probably a lot of really cool things I can do with this program. Or just this game. Anyway, alright. Schmack. Noita. Slagathor. I want compliment. Too bad. <laughs> You gotta get the fish. <laughs> no merp. I've told you this before, but you are like a person who I think really, really easily, just your personality really, really helps cheer people up. You're like the sun. <laughs> A big Oh, get out of here Alright This is why I fish <laughs> Ow, I'm stuck Alright Are we getting an ad break already again? Whatever, I'm not doing anything fun <laughs> Nobody cares About this Yeah.
Mm -hmm. Damn straight, Merp. Damn straight. All right. Uh, brain, keep working a little bit. All right. I did the TP link on my room and internet is quicker. Nice. Yeah. I was playing some co-op Elden Ring with my buddy last night. Just helping him basically play through the game. He doesn't want a challenge or anything. He just wants, you know, just to have fun co-oping and then like getting invaded. I, for I lost my, my place in the world right now. Where am I? And he, uh, he was teleporting all around everywhere. And he was talking like a robot in Discord. I'm like, dude, your connection right now is just very, it's not good. He's like, why'd you die? Didn't you fight this boss already? I'm like, the boss is teleporting. <laughs> oh, crap. Anyway, um... Alright. And, uh... He was blaming my internet connection, but no, it was him. His upload speed was like... One... Megabyte per second or something. It's like, damn, dude. Mine's not the fastest, but oh, I, I found it again. Look, mine's like 15 or 16, which is good enough, I guess, for... I mean, it seems to be good enough for streaming uh, 1080p. Dude, what the hell? But I used to have fiber. And I'd have, I, I had, I think now my, my upload, my, my download speed is, I think 600 Mbit per second, which is pretty damn nice. But my upload speed is only 15 or 16, but I used to have 200 up. That's right, Filbert. That's right. And I remember when I had that, it was so great. Uh, uploading videos in like three minutes or something. I'm like, damn, <laughs> it was great. I don't care anymore, really. I don't upload super often anymore, which is fine. I guess it's fine. If at first it felt weird, it felt it felt bad to not upload every few days. You know, I upload, I used to upload every day and then sometimes multiple times a day when I was doing Let's Plays, especially, you know, I'll upload three videos a day. But then even through most of like Noita, the last four years, I would upload barely consistently. And then it went to like once a week. Now it's like not consistent at all. But, you know, I don't mind it as much. It seems everything seems to be good, you know. Channel's growing. And, uh... Okay. We got some sodium, plant material, concentrated mana. I have a plant material that's amazing, good. I already have sodium. I don't need any of the rest. All right, well, at least we got something now. Just in case I lose all that sodium, we have a bunch of it right here. Plant material. Nice, I don't need that. Sodium. All right, cool. I mean, getting plant material is not very exciting. It's one of the more common ones we could get right now, but I'll take what I can get. Um, water and sodium. That's more fun than saving those. <laughs> I guess. You would think it would be a little bit more violent than that. We need like a nuke-sized explosion. Alright, I'm not going to do too much more, especially if I can't kill this guy. I can't. Maybe I can. 
Hey, did you just shoot a poly shot at me? Oh, whoops. I need you to die. You big dummy. Yeah, why don't you die? Oh, God. Can you just die? Nobody likes you here. <laughs> I do be blinded. <laughs> Where am I? I did uh, nothing close to the actual internet speeds if I had my PC upstairs. My uploads did shoot up a lot. That was nice to see. Yeah. The dirty alchemist should be a character in a game. His robe being all messed up, stained and flayed. Carrying a vibrator he calls a wand and a bag of poop. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say no to that. <laughs> I need... I need slush, guys. I need some slush. Because unfortunately... Slush is really hard to get if you don't play during the winter time, and I could change my clock, my, my computer clock, to winter. However, Noit the Gold. However, uh... I think the the precip precipitation in the game only happens in the beginning of a run. So uh, I don't think it would, even if I changed my computer date, I don't think we could get any slush naturally that way, which is dumb. <laughs> I guess it makes sense, whatever. Anyway. All right. Uh, give me that. Oh no. I need that. <laughs> Uh -huh. It's just Saturday. Wait, there we go. Thank you, explosions. Right. Let me make my little platform. Fiber gang. Yeah, I should probably get. Fiber and internet again. I've dropped 85 frames during this stream. That's actually not... Usually I don't drop any frames, but lately, I guess maybe the weather, we find we're getting some, some storms happening. So that might be why. Can you get out of here, worms? Why do you just, like, nerd out... Oh, no. Worm. Get out of here. God damn it, dude. What? Why are you stuck there? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> well, I guess all that broke, huh? Whatever. It was probably just pee and blue sand anyway. I should have actually kept the... Oh, hey, we could just do this. Powder vacuum field with uh, Nala. Yeah, they're all gone. Whatever. Uh, there was ambrosia, urine, and blue sand. Okay. The worm germ. I don't think I can live without fiber anymore. This the internet's pretty fast. This is at least the uh, the download. Is super fast. The download's actually faster than uh, my my up. I mean, my fiber internet upload speed was. With Frontier, I had uh, 200 up though, or like around 200, and I think the down was also around 200. Now my my down is 600. 
which is crazy. That's definitely the fastest download speed I've ever had. Pretty sure. Uh, but... Let me just go straight up. So I don't lose this again. Oh, I picked up. Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want no P. We don't need that. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna do like two more, maybe. I don't want to keep doing this. Just do a the the key is to just do a little bit, you know, make a little bit of progress. Just work on a little bit of what we need to do here and there. All right. Whoa, that's not what I wanted to happen. Oh, well. All right, let's try to get rid of some of this acid. By drinking it. Yummy. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now we got the worms. Greatest song ever. All right, worms. I don't know why they don't just go down. Why is... Oh, shit. Get out of here, worms. Look, worm pheromone. Lively concoction. I keep getting a lively concoction. No healthium. Man. It's like the third time I've gotten lively concoction from this. Come on. One more good material, please. Creepy liquid. Look at all those. Creepy liquid, monster's powder, sulfur, slush I'll take. Yeah, see? There's already acid in my stomach. We might just need to drink a little bit of uh, polybismol just to neutralize it a little bit. You do, yeah. It's per pixel. Every single pixel of this world has a different con chest contents. <laughs> and there's... Uh, why did I stand so close? <laughs> Welp. There's a program, an external program, that will tell me exactly which pixel I need to stand on in order to get what I want, but I don't want to do that. At least not, maybe I will if we're doing this for too long. I don't know what too long is, but you know. If I end up doing this for the next month without getting anything new, I'm not going to just sit here every stream and the whole stream is going to be me trying to do this, but a little bit each time I work on this. That's nice. That's a lot. Go away, worm. Listen, ass. Go. Go. Okay. I almost call called him an ass burger. Snow. All this snow, no slush. Where's the slush? I want... Ugh. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, okay, it was the same pixel. What is this one gonna be? Same, all right. Yeah, because it spawned them all. That sucks. 
It's like sometimes when you get something like this out of the chest, it'll have, you'll get like a few flasks of snow, but then one slush, because it's a related uh, material. That's happened to me before. See, lively concoction. Maybe we gotta go to a further parallel world. Or maybe I have to fill every single pixel of the sky with these eyesore floating island thingies. <laughs> yeah. Asperger. <laughs> Not Aspergers, but As Asperger, yeah. <laughs> I'm paying seventy dollars seventy dollars per minute? What? Oh, okay, I see. What ah oh, no. Well, um... Hey, Waimatika. What's up? Welcome, guys. How you doing? Thanks for the raid. How was your... How was your stream? We're farming for rare materials right now. This is my alchemy run. We're collecting every single material in the entire game. And, uh... Not have not having the greatest amount of luck right now. Hang on. Is the music loud for you guys? <laughs> I think it, it should be okay, right? Not too bad. Nah, I don't think there's anything new in there. What about these wands? Jeez, man. Wow, look at that one. Look <laughs> at all that. Nice. Streamer short and okay shouldn't stream while, while a little sick. I, yeah, I know how that is. I do that every now and then. I'm like, yeah, I'm too tired and uh, I can't do this. It's going well. Yeah. What were you doing? If you need to run and take care of yourself, I totally understand. Totally understand. Um, so, so far we have plant material. So, here, maybe we'll try West World. We'll go back to the main world right, right now for a bit. If you haven't seen my uh, alchemy run, my base, we're playing Noita, but we're kind of... Whoops. Hey, I keep hitting... Oh, God. Hang on, we gotta get away from all this. We're doing base building. It's basically Stardew Noita, or like Terraria Noita. Come on, man. All the lava everywhere is blocking me from being able to... Hey, buddy. Oh my god. This is why I use the other wand, I guess. It, it did look like a wand you get from Tiny. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Alright. Now we're back in the main world. Oh, I can put these back on here for the moment. Let me, uh... I think that's a little bit... I've had enough of that. <laughs> Perfect. All right. I've had my fill of epic choir for the day. Going to sleep right now, so just came here to say hi. All right. Thank you for the raid. Good night. Take care of yourself. I hope you feel better soon. Appreciate it. Appreciate ya. Yo, 
Yeah, we're gonna go to Westworld and do a few more times, end of everything, just to try to get something new, please. Wax. All right, let's go here. Enjoy your lurk, thank you. Thanks for the lurk. All right. Maybe <laughs> it's empty. Well, it's not even actually, I found a better way to do this. It's, the bag is just here, just in case. I don't want it to overflow everywhere, but I could always just, let me actually throw that right side up. I could always just uh, do powder vacuum field. Let me take that off there. Just do powder vacuum field on here just to dispose of all the poop everywhere. All right. Clean that up without dumping it on people's heads underneath me. Uh, I need to... Put this, we don't need that. All right. And then... I am gonna need the, let me just, this add trigger. I'm gonna need that for another wand build. So that's why I grabbed it. All right, now, let me make sure these are all right. Beautiful. All right, I have to be careful. That's almost invisible. When I'm teleporting up, you know, I gotta remember the flasks are right up here level with that. All right. Anything uh, broken over here? Nope. All right, so we got plant material. I'm gonna just dump that right there. Hopefully that remains. And, oh, let me get the other wand. I can't use any mods on this run. I'm sorry about that. No mods. There is a mod that disables, like using using mods in Noita disables a couple secrets. Um, but there is a there is a mod that disables the mod check in the game. However, I don't trust that completely. Being somebody who focuses on the secrets in this game, so that's why. I'm sorry. I, I won't. I can't. Not for this run. For some other runs, maybe. But this run. I'm actively trying eventually to solve the cauldron, so I can't have any, I need to control everything I could possibly control with that. All right, uh. Perfect. We're gonna go right here. Hey. Come on, man. I should have grabbed another projectile to kill this guy. Maybe he'll stay up there. Or maybe he'll die to the end of everything. Wouldn't that be nice? Come here, come here. Where are you? Yeah, take that. How do you like that? Three damage, wow. <laughs> How do you like acid? That's not gonna do anything to you. But what about this? Is that gonna do anything? Oh crap. This is why I don't like you. All right. Oh, whoops. No! Alright. Okay. Oh, he turned into Steven. Wow, that's a lot of worms. <laughs> Go away.
All right. Go away, worm. Let me drink this acid. There was nothing in there. Fine. All right. Are they all going to be the same? Probably. Yep. Blah. I think yesterday we had really good luck. Nice. Um, yeah, I know. It would be helpful if there was some non-mod way for me to share my wands constantly. I would totally do that, but if, if it needs a mod, then I can't. My favorite propane tank. All right. I said it earlier, I was going to do two more. <laughs> this is the only way I have left to get materials. There might be... There's... There's gunpowder, like the fifth type of gunpowder. That I, uh... Whoops. But I don't have... The, only, the one remaining gunpowder I don't have... That I can get without summoning this. Or without using the end of everything. But everything else, I need the end of everything now. So, like, this is what we have to do to get the materials. So, sucky. Is there a chance of a flask of instant death spawns? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We already have one. And if I'm not really paying attention, that could kill me. I have it can't it doesn't bypass extra lives in saving grace. I have two extra lives, I have saving grace. But if I sit there and let it and just sit in it and it triggers a few times, like it could end the run if I'm not paying attention. If it breaks on me. That's right now that's the most dangerous thing I have to worry about, but well, there's a couple things that are dead. That, and the other bad thing that can, that if I'm not paying attention. Let me just wait until this is over. Come on, worms. Go away. Get out of here. Why are you here? Go. Move. Just move. Okay. I need to make a better design for doing this. Man, we are not having any luck. That's real nice. We do not have Midas damage immunity. Not in normal game. After, tw after you do the 34 orb ending, then you get immunity to everything, but... I do not have immunity to that. Ugh. All right, let me just cast this. Uh, the worst, I was going to say, the worst thing that could happen is if one of the great treasure chests has a lot of stuff in it, which they could have a lot. Where was this? There it is. Let me go over here before the acid just gets in there. Is it over there? Never mind, that's fine. Plug that hole a little bit, maybe. Woo! Uh, if, if there's a lot of things that come out of a great treasure chest, and then one of them is a poop stone, and I grab the poop stone and, like, pick it up, then I'm going to throw up and I'm going to lose all my poly immunity and then I could get polyed and the run can end like that. That would be pretty bad. <laughs> so I just got to be really careful about using... That's why I still have tel telekinetic kick. I can pick up the poop stone and move it out of the way with that. Because, yeah, there's all this poly around. And then, yeah, if I pick up the poop stone and throw up, lose my poly immunity there's a worm still around or something and then the worm kills me after I get polyed 
damn it, man. Oh, hey. And a lot of the time, <clears throat> not a lot of the time, time, but almost every time you get a poop stone in a chest, uh, there's also at least one water stone. It's usually like several water stones and then one one poop stone. I just want some material that I don't have. Or just, I'll take any material right now. Even one that I already have. <laughs> Come on, man. Let me get away from this guy. And yeah, it used to be almost every great treasure chest had materials. So this whole process, we would have been finished a long time ago with getting everything. Well, maybe not getting everything, but we would have had materials in every chest. Pretty much, or like almost every. We wouldn't have, certainly wouldn't have spawned this many or whatever, yeah, spawned this many uh, ends of everything and gotten only hearts from these chests. That wouldn't have happened. If any kind of death happens, the run is over. That is a rule I am sticking to because I'm still playing the game. It's still a roguelike, a roguelite. And, yeah, if I die, I die in any way. Yeah, it was reduced. They nerfed in one of the recent patches before the, you know, one of the beta patches before the Epilogue 2 update. Just nerfed great treasure chests. I don't know why. I don't think there was any really good reason for it, but I don't know. Like, we've always had them, and, you know, it's not like most people even care about getting materials from chests. I don't know. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, it's just worm pheromone. What the hell, man? I mean, it needs to be a rare material, not not something I could get anywhere. Come on, dude. <laughs> Jeez. Maybe, you know what I'm doing. Let's just try. Something like that. I don't need to completely encase myself. Because at least this way, we have a platform for the uh, treasure chests. I could maybe just make a platform. I don't even need, like, the rest. You know, and then all the liquids just go off the side. I don't even need to stand here for now. I could just fly around and then go to a platform when right before the chest spawn. And then this should help the worms uh, disperse faster, I think. I consider this game to be more more like a roguelike than a roguelite, but I don't want to argue any kind of semantics, like whatever. There are people who are very, very strict with the term roguelike. As long as... This game's not even a roguelite or a roguelike. It's like an open world... Why did it spawn over there, dude? It's like an open world sandbox, physics sandbox game with roguelite mechanics. 
and whatever. It's just a combination of a bunch of things. Yeah. I mean, I know that genre classifications help help people understand what a, the gist of a game pretty much, but, you know, I, I'm not very strict with it, personally. As long as somebody understands what I'm talking about, that's whatever. I think it's like a bad thing to over try to over classify a video game, potentially like creatively stifling for development. It's good for marketing. It's good for, you know, when you're talking about a game, like understanding like, yeah, it's like like this. But over classifying things, not a fan of it. All right. I think we're only getting salt. Okay. And of course the salt one broke, but I already have salt. This is not good. We haven't gotten anything in this world. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Noita, if you play the game, I like to think of Noita as like a physics sandbox, open world physics sandbox that just happens to have a roguelite in it. You know, going through the main path of the game is like the roguelite. Everything else outside of that is basically like a hardcore survival game, pretty much, or survival sandbox. Anyway. Alright, probably the last one. It's one of those days where we're not getting any luck with this. I don't want to sit here. It's too easy for me to just sit here doing this because I want the materials so bad, you know? And before I know it, it's already 7 p.m. almost. Well, at least I managed to play a little bit of other games today. Again, I'm going to be streaming every day for the rest of the week. Next week, I'm going to be streaming again, probably only Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I can get another video out, hopefully. I might not stream... Uh, Super long stream tomorrow. Maybe, like, there's just so much I want to do, though, on stream. Besides just this. Besides just this run. Or Noita. Oops. Alright. Well... I don't know where the... <laughs> where the chests are. Ah, oh, man. Oh. Oh, I wonder what that was. Probably really good stuff that I needed. What's all that hardened stuff? Dude, and the water stone. So the chest just broke in here. And then glass... Oh, okay, wait. We have a pheromone potion. And then the water stone's just... Hardened everything. Yeah, pheromone. This has been the worst session so far. Uh, as far as, like, the end of everything goes. Here. I'm gonna go one more over here. <clears throat> Let's do it. Eh. Right at the edge of the world over here. Yeah, right over here. I got the plant material, and that's a material I needed, but 
Out of all the materials you can get from the great treasure chests, uh, plant material, evergreen, seed, like these, those plant-like materials are the most common. Uh, all right, last one right here. Let's just erase that. All right. Yeah. Hey, what the fox? How you doing? Rain World feels like an ecosystem simulation with a game nested inside it. I would agree with that. I do love Rain World. I put it on the same level as Noita as far as how much I like it. It's hard for me to pick. I'd probably put Noita a little bit above it, but it's still one of my favorite games. Yeah, unfortunately, we're casting end of everything again like a maniac. Oops, that was a little loud. Come on, this time we're going to get something amazing. I do need the worms to leave me alone, though. I need to figure out... They're kind of messing stuff up for me a little bit. Fuck off. Why did... Uh... Why did all the flasks break immediately? Why is that happening? We're getting such bad luck. Volcanic sand I already have, man. <laughs> Damn. Meh. I'm casting it. Whoops, not over here. We're casting it right here. In fact, I am just gonna... I'm just gonna do this. Blop. And then... It's gonna chill out over here. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Get that. Take that. Stupid. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. A little laggy. It's also because I'm casting spells to acid single frame. Nice. Or actually, we could speed this up a little bit. I probably should. Look at that HP just melt away. <laughs> I have to pay attention to that, too. That's one way I can die. <laughs> that would be so bad. Where's the chest? Why does it not follow me, man? Because the game lags out a little bit. It spawned up there, and probably everything is broken. Yep. The chest broke right there. Well, that's cool. Thank you. Oh. Acid. So, one of the materials I need is secret creeping fungus and that's exactly how it looks in a flask it's really bright green like that i'm glad yeah well not that i'm not i'm glad that's not it anyway okay doesn't matter uh let me fix this. <laughs> One more, right here. <laughs> Since I had to teleport back to unstuck myself. Uh... Alright. 
The problem is also that I was casting like multiple, whoops, multiple at a time. You would think that would be better, but it's really not. It makes it harder to kind of control. Yeah, more explosion, more worms, more everything, so. Where am I gonna, it's whatever. Yeah, using this is definitely the way to go. All right, let's make a long bridge. Let's just hang out on the bridge. So the worms just fall through it. And hopefully the chest does not break. That was it? Are you serious? That was what I get? Yeah, this has been the worst session. How many times did I cast the end of everything? A lot. Yeah, I can't do the teleport back to base. Um... <clears throat> Oops. Do that. Fall down a little bit. Let me actually teleport across like this. I can't do the this because I'm spamming spells to acid to get rid of the uh, end of everything. That's something bad that can happen if I forget and I put one of these crystals at the base for the fast travel stuff and then I cast the end of everything. And then I start spamming this to get rid of the projectiles and spells uh, in the end of everything. We're going to teleport back to the base. And then everything in the base is going to get completely destroyed by the end of everything. Because it follows you. So yeah, I got to make sure I never put a crystal at the base before casting that. Yeah, it's so bad. I mean, some of the H some of the hearts were large hearts, and you get 50 HP instead of 25. But still, that's just nah. <laughs> it's pretty lame. It's like you can get that from a normal chest. It's one of the rare things you can get from a normal chest is a large health power up. Yay! Well, right now, yeah. In a normal run, that's kind of like, that's pretty cool. You know, especially earlier in the run. Uh-oh, how high am I? <laughs> we don't even see the mountains yet. It's fine. <laughs> Gives me some time to... Let's go fishing. So yeah, tomorrow on stream, I want to play the majority of the stream. I want to do something else. I think we're going to do, a, we'll try to do a little bit of work on this, but I want to, I want to play something else. Especially after this session right now. I think taking a break is a good thing. Uh, oh, I was just about to cast it again. Nice. There's my farm. The fish are gone. All right. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> In East World. Eastworld has been good. Oops, don't cast that. Let's try all the way up here. We're really high in the sky. Or pretty high up. Can you go away? So I don't have to... <laughs> he already tele... Nope, he's there.
Yeah, just sitting here amongst the stars. It's all we're gonna get. What if we get creepy liquid up here and it breaks? <laughs> I am in East World, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm very zoned out right now from doing this. This is the last one, and then we're gonna do like again, quick, quick speedrun session. Whoops, we're really all right. And then tomorrow, uh, I I kind of want to do start out with Rain World again, and then whoops, I'm so all right. Get that. All right. Now, where's my thing? I, I need, like, a breath of fresh air. I feel like playing, like, a different game. Like, uh... Like that Veritas game that I bought that I need to play. <laughs> Amongst all these other games, too. Creepy rain. And then, yeah, I do want to play a horror game, horror game soon. That would be fun on stream. I love, like, on stream, I'm very jumpy. You could probably tell that. All right. Look, look at this nice chest right next to me. Now go. Why? Why? That's just... It's ridiculous. Here's a heart. Ha ha. <laughs> I know. I need to stop. Just gonna keep getting disappointed. We've just had so much good luck so far. Every time we've done this, you know? I've gotten cool materials every time we've done it. Has anyone ever filled the cauldron with monstrous powder? Um, I don't think I have. I mean, I think I've filled it with every material, like, like even ones that you can't really even acquire through this, through great treasure chests. But I've never tried, like, monstrous powder immediately, like, uh, will destroy the cauldron when it spawns the, uh, the boss. They just dig through any any ground immediately. Oops. That's fine. All right, just one more again. It's a rare spell, but me. All right, let me stop. That was meh. Make sure that's off. Put this back. All right. Well, at least I made that area. The hazardous materials area, sort of. Yeah, I tried, tried that a little bit. Fungal shifting void liquid. It's a possibility. But there's so many, so many things you can possibly fungal shift it into. But yeah, it's definitely a possibility. There are a few people who have tried it. I don't... Even though there's a few people who have tried it, I don't know if we've collectively shifted it in, into everything. Probably not. Hey, I have 69,000 HP. From all those hearts.
All right, they're all good. We got that. That's what we got. All we did today in this session, I don't even know how long I've been playing Noita so far. We got the plant material. And then... We uh, made this. Okay. Fungus shift everything into sausage. <laughs> nice. I've always wondered if you're supposed to fungal shift or avoid liquid to solve the cloud, do you shift it into alchemic precursor? No. In order to do that, uh, it's not... Alchemic precursor is not part of the... the shift pool. Like, you can't naturally shift anything into alchemic precursor. You have to do, like, a shift chain. Oh, like, you have to shift something else into alchemic precursor first, and then shift Void Liquid into that, in a way. So, yeah. It's not easy to really... That, that like, multiplies the amount of things to try to shift things into. But yeah. I haven't done that. What I have thought before is... Do you, did you guys see when I... or? Are you already aware of this, or did you see when I, uh, I'm gonna back up the save real quick. <laughs> 